what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello, fellow Chibis. This is Catching Fire 3 with some more hateful boyfriend. Where's my phone? I remember looking at Daily Portal Z during break, so I can't have left it at home. We didn't had chemistry lab today, right? Maybe I left it in there. The door is open. Good. There it is. Sitting right on the bench I worked at. Sorry, were you only? Come on, let's head home. That was weird. Ah! I bumped into the doctor? You again. Has your life no purpose aside from meddling with me? No, I... What is he even doing here? He came out of the chemistry prep room, right? Alone after school in the lab? What were you doing? Uh, um, I, I left something behind. Did you see anything? Eh? I'm asking if you saw anything. Well, what are you... What is he talking about? Would it be a problem if I had seen something? Farewell. May I ask a favor of you, Miss Connolly? Ah, yes, what is it? Could you bring me the files from the prep room, the black ones on the desk? Isn't this the prep room right here? They are somewhat heavy for me, but I am sure you will have no problem with them. Would you mind? No, no sir. I'm not sure I could get away with saying no. I'll just do as he says. Files, files, which ones? I don't see anything like what he asked me for. <gasps> well, wait. I'm locked in? D doctor, doctor, let me out. What are you doing? Let me out. Brute, villain, fluffy heretic. No reply. The building is going to be locked soon, and I didn't tell anyone I was coming here. Ah! Somebody help me. The doctor locked me in here. Why did he do that? There's no reason to unless... He, he thinks I saw something I shouldn't have. This must be his way of shutting me up or removing the evidence. That's probably it. I'm in despair. This evil doctor who will probably be coming back with a cleaver or something has left me in despair. I'm not sure I could make it out the window, but I have to get out of here quickly. How can I? <gasps> Footsteps. Coming closer. I have to hide, but, but there's nowhere to hide in here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't. Huh? What are you doing in here, Connolly? School is closed already. I'm a Mr. Nanaki. I thought I heard noises coming from over here. Were you banging the door, Connolly? That's not good. The door isn't a punching bag. I think I can see a halo around his head. I can practically hear angels. I'm alive. Sir, I, I... There are some dangerous things in here, so don't come in without asking, okay? I, I didn't come in on my own accord. The doctor... That's right, I asked her to. You did? Indeed, I am truly sorry. I completely forgot I'd asked her to get something and locked her in and walked off. You locked the door as soon as I walked in here? Who are you, Clive Waring, whoever that is? This is what I found out about Clive Waring. He's a former musicologist from Britain who lacks the ability to form new memories and also cannot recall aspects of his past memories. So I guess that makes sense why they brought him up. Is that it? Well then, this whole thing stinks of ill doing, Mr. Nanaki. For the doctor said it was an accident. I think it might be best if you went home as soon as possible this time of year, Connolly. It gets dark so quickly. That is true. I wanted to leave early, but then all this happened. Well then, I'll head home now. Stay safe. We'll have a career. We'll have a career plan survey tomorrow. Oh, I got it now. So don't forget to print that from earlier today. Oh no, I forgot it in the classroom. Cunningly's a very honest, nice girl, isn't she? Though she is a little bit restless. I agree completely. Anyway, I shall excuse myself now. Goodbye, doctor. Yes, that was a little sloppy. You failed to pay sufficient attention to your surroundings. That sort of thing will be the death of you, you know. Just kidding. Accidents like that happen to everyone, and you remember to come let her out in the end. Don't worry about it. Yes. Thank you, Professor. We get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. Connolly, sir, you're getting better. Keep it up. Yes, sir. It's all basically the same thing with some story. 
The sun, its majestic brilliance, sweeps across the land, lighting into incandescent glory. It's the first day of the new year. It looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. There's a shrine? There are a lot of birds here already. Must be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie. <laughs> I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. Scott, why why is he wearing a kimono or whatever that is? And a flower. Happy New Year. Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Ryuda? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Uh, oh, it looks good on you. You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which would you like? Um, I'd like one for fulfillment in school. Here you go. Thanks, Ryuda. Are you here all day today? Yep, the first day is always busy. Oh, well. I was going to ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but sorry, Scott. Maybe some other time? Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. Okay, thanks. See you, Ryuda. Hmm. Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year. Oh, hello, Conley. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes, unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Hmm, what should I take? This one. What does it say? I want to know what it says. What is that? Oh my god, I think... I isn't that... Isn't that Ozami? Java blessing. What the hell? Good, you got a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, Conley. Thank you, sir. What, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. What a shocker. <coughs> You're still hibernating, sir. Wake up. Oh! Um, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. I wonder if somebody who was making this game actually took those pigeon pictures you see. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Oh, tomorrow's Legumentines. I don't know what that means. I think I'll buy some beans. Legumen. Oh. Oh. Oh, there it is. Today, Legumentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it is used in to involve throwing them at pigeons. Huh. I still have to look up about that. Disgraceful. Good evening, here for beans? Yes, is there a kind that you think is particularly good? This year's trend is towards these bean medleys for racers, but they are a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Hmm, that's true, and sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy swollen hemp. Sw I guess swollen hemp. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdie. Oh, no. Sir, Mr. Nanaki. Hello, Conley. What is it? Um, today is le legumentines. Uh... So, I wanted to give you beans. You wanted to give them to me? Are you sure that's okay? You don't have someone else? No, sir. I want to give them to you, sir. I don't know what kind of things you like to eat, so I wasn't sure which to get, but... I like anything, as long as it's not some terrible prank. What kind of girl would play pr pranks on legumentans? Please take this, sir. Mmm, they look good. Thank you. Sir, I hope I'm in your class again next semester. I hope. <laughs> Sir, this is important. You have to listen. Sir, was that on purpose? That was on purpose, wasn't it? The semester is almost over. In a few short days, I will no longer be a sophomore. No, I will be a hard more. But there's one thing I have left to do for us. One thing I need to do. Hello, Conley. What is it? Asking to meet outside is a little odd. If it's about your career plan, don't worry, you're still a sophomore. You don't have to decide for a few months yet. N no, sir. I wanted to ask you something. Oh, please do. Sir, I like you. Is that is that alright? 
You do say the strangest things, Conley. I like you too. You're kind, smart, you work hard. I, I didn't mean it like that. Hmm? Listen, I'm no longer able to love another creature. It's not your fault, Conley, I'm sorry. No longer able to love another creature? What does he mean? You saw it, remember? Saw what, sir? The photo. Yes, sir, I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it, I knew you wouldn't lie. I suppose I should tell you. That was a photo of the most important bird in my life. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to come in between. I thought we could live through anything, just the two of us. I think we meant more to each other than any birdie else in the wor world. But one day I looked around. I was alone. Life changed after that. I stopped caring about a lot of things. I, I can never forget. Never forget our life, our promises. But I'm not sure how to say this. As I looked at the photo every day, I realized I couldn't tell anymore. Couldn't tell if I felt love when I saw that face or if, if I felt hatred. I, I think losing someone dear is painful for everyone. After a while, I, I, I couldn't stand the scene anymore. So you, that's right. But even as I tried to forget, some part of me didn't want to. You see now, right? Why I don't want to love again? But now the love I felt has soured into resentment. Rather than forcing all that hatred onto one person, I... I think it's better to love everyone around you just enough that you won't regret losing them. That's... too sad. You... you don't agree, Conley? I love your kindness, sir. But when I see that kindness bringing you pain, I have to wonder if there isn't a better way. Ahaha, <laughs> I wonder. By the way, there's one more thing I should tell you. Huh? That photo? It's gone now. I burned it. Huh? When you saw it, it made me think about things again. I never would have shown it to anyone, so I was rather shaken. We both knew that one of us would be gone one day, and neither of us would have wanted the other to mourn. So, as I looked at the photo, I thought it was better. Better to put it away. So I burned it. <laughs> Sorry, the way I said that was like, so I burned it. <laughs> sort of... As an apology for defacing it like that. I should remember the beautiful face I knew, not a photo covered in scribbles. Uh, oh. Conley, just because I'm a teacher doesn't mean you should always look up to me. Th that doesn't have anything to do with it. But I, I understand that you don't want to forget her, sir. I have an idea, Conley. I will be waiting here at this school forever. If after you've grown up a little, you still feel the same way, I'll be here for you. Sir, that's... I don't like to make idle premises, but I'm sure you'll grow up into a wonderful person, Connolly. So let's wait until then. Yes, sir. Why did that get so sad all of a sudden? Graduating, growing up, and then coming back here, that'll be another story. I don't know what he will say to me on that day. I don't... I don't what I will feel or what he will feel. But right now, I am truly happy. No, no, no. Don't tell me that was the end. I already found love? No. There's no way. No. Well, I guess I'm going to have to start over again and do some new decisions. If you like this video, leave a like, comment down below if you want to see more or what you want me to do next. Subscribe if you're new and may the odds be ever in your favor.